Hey guys, hope you're doing very well. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the tattoos that I got in 2017. I got eight tattoos in total, I think. I hope I haven't missed anything out. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But I'm pretty sure I've written down every tattoo that I got in 2017. I actually had to write it down. Looking at my list, I've noticed I only got tattooed by one male this year. This year has been the year of the female tattoo artists, praising those female tattoo artists, doing the most and owning the tattoo industry. It is a male-dominated industry. Those levels are kind of like, it's leveling out now though I would say, like, I mean there's probably still more male tattoo artists than female, but female tattoo artists are owning it. There is so many talented female tattoo artists out there and I just love and adore them all. And they're just doing such a good job, especially the artists that I've been to this year. They're just oh, so passionate and they love what they do and I'm all for it, honestly. That's obviously not to like um, dampen down on male tattoo artists, they do great as well. So the first tattoo that I got in 2017 was in February, it was my big back piece type tattoo. It's not a full back piece but it covered up quite a bit of my back. I had two existing tattoos there before which was my Hamza hand and my dear skull head thing with roses that was there before from previous years they were both cover-ups of bad tattoos i've got videos on all that type of thing i'll leave relative video links down below i've got videos on every single one of these tattoos as well because obviously i've been youtubing this whole year so i've been talking about the tattoos that i've got this year but yeah i got a tattoo by holly astral she did a gypsy style type lady on me with a massive mandala and peonies it's just a beautiful piece my back is not finished yet i do have some gaps here and there i'm hoping and looking to get it finished next year i have an artist in mind that's not to say that i don't want to get tattooed by holly ever again it's a case of like i found a tattoo artist to do something that i really want i want a lot of black work and geometric stuff to fill out the gaps and Holly's style is more like mandalas and flowers and stuff but I want heavy black to fill out the rest of my back to make it, I don't know, just darker and more mysterious I guess. So yeah, that is my plan for 2018 but yeah, Holly did an amazing job. It was like a seven hour session. It was probably the most brutal tattoo I've had. I mean I have like a full sleeve and almost a sleeve on this arm um, but seven hours on your back is absolutely brutal. I had really bad tattoo flu a couple of days after and I did suffer, but I guess you've got to suffer for art, right? So yeah, that was the first tattoo I got in 2017. The next tattoo that I got was what I would call like an impulse tattoo and not something I had planned to get. I went to my first ever tattoo convention earlier this year. I think it was in March. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in like end of February, March. I don't know when it was to be honest <laughs> but it was the London Tattoo Collective and Yasmin got me tickets for my birthday I believe or Christmas I can't remember um, but we went to that and we obviously looked around and I come across Jodie Dorba and I have mentioned her in videos before I think I mentioned her in a tattoo favourites video and um, yeah, I come across her booth and I asked her, like, have you got any space? And she's like, oh, come back. But I might do. And then I went back and she's like, yeah, come back in a couple of hours. And then I got a bumblebee tattoo from her. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite tattoos. I just, I just love the placement. Like, the placement is, like, the best... I don't know, it's definitely like one of my best ideas I've ever had to have a bumblebee down by my ankle area. Well, the front of my ankle, front of my shin, lower shin. I don't know where you want to call that. But it's by my ankle, on my shin, low down. Yeah, I don't know. Anatomy is not my strong point. <laughs> I can't really remember how long it took to do. I think it was like 45 minutes, maybe an hour, an hour and a half. I don't really remember. I definitely mentioned how long it took in the video. Um, I filmed her doing it a little bit. It's in my London Tattoo Collective vlog. And then I think I have a video about the tattoo and the situation. I don't know. Again, I'll leave links down below if you want to hear more about it. The next tattoos I got were three finger tattoos. They were all done by someone called Maria. She did an eye type tattoo here, some lines and then some dots here. The lines and the dots were actually cover-ups of stick and poke that I did myself. And she just rectified it and made it look better. And then she, I asked her to add on something a little pretty. Well, while she was at it, which was this little eye tattoo. It looks like the World of Warcraft arcane eye. Um, I used to play World of Warcraft a lot and I always played mage and this happened to end up looking like the arcane eye thing symbol. Um, it wasn't intentional at all, I didn't even realise until afterwards and I was looking at it, I was just like, hang on, I've seen this somewhere before and it does look very similar. Not exact, but it looks kind of similar, so it, it kind of has a little meaning to it, like it didn't have a meaning to start off with, but now it kind of does. These were kind of impulse as well, my friend was getting a tattoo on that day and I kind of just rang the studio and I was like, hey, can you 
you know, cover up these tattoos while I sit with my friend and what have you. It was a little bit impulsive, but yeah, I'm obviously happy with it, so that was that. The next tattoo that I got in 2017 was a tattoo by Danny Cuapo. I discovered Danny through Instagram. He had this pin-up tattoo that kind of blew up and a lot of tattoo pages were reposting. I think it was like a circus pin-up tattoo type thing. I don't, I don't know, I don't know why I'm doing this, but um, yeah, that's how I discovered Danny through Instagram and I looked at his page and I was obsessed and he does very, very, very good pin-up tattoos. And I was just like, I need one for myself, I need one. So I just gave him some ideas. I said I want a, like a lady in like lingerie and holding a big pizza slice. And he kind of just did whatever he wanted to do and he did it. And it is one of my favourite tattoos, if not my favourite tattoo. Um, I struggle picking favourites, but I definitely feel like if I had a gun held to my head, I would pick this pin-up tattoo. I just love her so, so much. She is literally the love of my life. Yeah, he was the only male I got tattooed by this year. The next tattoo I got was from someone called Manny. This was at a charity tattoo event for Keely Rutherford. I've been tattooed by Keely before in 2016, I believe it was. Um, she did my craft tattoo. Um, again, that's one of my favourite tattoos. It's so hard to pick a favourite tattoo nowadays for me. It's, it is hard. But um, yeah, so she had a charity event at the tattoo studio she normally works at, which is Jolie Rouge in London. She held the event in honour of her mum who passed away, unfortunately, and her mum loved cats, so she held like a cat tattoo inspired charity day where you kind of go in, pick the flash that you wanted. I really like Manny's design, and especially the one I picked, and I was hoping and praying that no one else would choose it. I'd just never seen anything like it before, and that's why I really, really wanted that one. I wanted to get tattooed by Keely as well. But like, I don't know, this Manny tattoo was like screaming at me and I was just like, I can't, just, I just have to have that one. So I got tattooed by Manny. Um, I love this piece as well. I get asked quite a lot, like, do you have any cats? Are you a cat person? I'm actually more of a dog person, but this tattoo is just like, it's girly. It's crossed between like a woman face and a cat face. And it's just like, there's lots of little details. And I just, I don't know, I really fell in love with it. And I was just like, I kind of just have to have that. So that was the reason behind that one. And yeah, I have no regrets at all. I love her so, so much. The next tattoo and the last tattoo I got in 2017 was my Snow White inspired tattoo. This was done by Emma Ari Ariete. I can't even say her last name. I butcher everyone's name. I don't even know why I try anymore. My Snow White tattoo is my most recent one. I got it done in October. It was kind of a spare of the moment tattoo but not really I booked it like uh, two weeks in advance or so she had done an Alice in Wonderland tattoo and I absolutely loved it and I was just like oh obviously I can't have that because that's someone else's tattoo so I asked for a Snow White inspired tattoo because Snow White has like a meaning to me personally it was one of my nan's favourite films I remember watching it with her and stuff and yeah it was kind of in honour of my nan and stuff like that and it was my first ever sort of memorial tattoo even though it's not an obvious memorial tattoo it's just personal to me type thing she absolutely killed it I love it so much it's healed now I haven't done an updated video on it or anything but it's healed now it's still very bold very vibrant the color has held so so well I'm like so in love with it definitely want to get more tattoos by Emma next year sometime um, I just want to get tattooed by everyone. Honestly, in 2018, I'm not sure what it's going to bring for me tattoo-wise, but I think my back is the main priority for next year. And then after that, I'm not sure. I'll be going to a couple of tattoo conventions. The ones that I know I'm most probably definitely going to be going to, again, is London Tattoo Collective, Brighton Tattoo Convention, and London Tattoo Convention. I really wanted to go to Tattoo Tea Party, but I think that kind of co is it coincides I don't know, what's the word but I think when that is is when I'm going to go on holiday or near to when I'm going on holiday so it's kind of like very tight I'm not sure I definitely want to maybe try and do an international tattoo convention like as in go to another country like Barcelona or Amsterdam or somewhere I'm not sure but tattoo conventions are going to be on my cards next year again I went to my first one this year and I just I just want to carry on going I love them so much it's so nice to be surrounded by like-minded people anyway I don't want to keep rambling on about stuff like that because it's not relevant to the video I don't think Kind of is, kind of isn't. So yeah, I would absolutely love to know what tattoos you got in 2017. Let me know. Let me know your future plans also. If you want to leave links to your tattoos down below, so if you've got like links to your Instagram or what have you, leave a link to them down below. I don't mind links in my comments and stuff like that. I would love to see your tattoos and what you've got over the past year. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing very, very well. And until my next video, bye.